So I just paid $11 for this shit, and that means one of two things. Either we're getting the best psychological horror game of the entire year, or I just got scammed. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? And welcome to a brand new psychological horror game, Chaperone. So I guess the developer of this game has actually made a couple other really good games that I actually haven't played yet, so hopefully this one's good too. And as always, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and welcome to the full gameplay of Chaperone. That was the longest getting out of bed sequence in my entire life. There's the light switch. One, two, three, four. Uh, a picture of a pistol. Uh, and here's the US military. Oh, we got an AK on the on the desk, and it's 4:20 a.m. and some bottles of vodka. Nothing screams America like the Matrix and AK bottles of vodka and 4:20 a.m. and some sickies on my nightstand. I love this already. Oh, this is great. Um. Okay, what what am I doing here? Maybe maybe number one's gonna tell us. Hello, Boris. Today you're going to a house with a funeral. The people of the house believe that the corpse to relax his soul and get rid of invisible evils, and the corpse is kept in the house for protection. They leave one person with them as a companion. This companion can be a member of the family or an outsider in exchange for money. With the first rays of the sun, someone from the sect, they'll come to pick up the body. What? what? <laughs> Number two, as a paid chaperone here, we'll send you away because the household, he didn't accept it. The purpose of you being there, not being a chaperone. Whose body in the house? Kim. For what purpose did he kill her? Killed with what? To gather intelligence, you understand you'll be there. With the first rays of the sun, they'll come for the body. They'll say you're a cop. No one will know. Three, look at the paper. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you anything about what they're going to do to you when you get home. Clues were left. We've been able to successfully as much as possible so that you can finish, try to analyze what you need to do. You'll be notified in writing. In the meantime, you must fulfill certain religious duties. You're gonna need it. Good luck to you in advance. Look at paper four. Now there are the things you need to do before you leave the house. Take with you one gun, two flashlight, three body cam, four walkie talkie, five, Finally, take the key to the motorbike. After you get these, you can set off with your vehicle. I don't know if I have rocks floating around inside of my head or if those actually made less sense than if I would have just not read them at all. Besides the last one. The last one at least told me what I needed to take. Here's a gun. I wonder if that's my gun. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. And take this baton. Just kidding. This is actually called a drop. Not a baton. All right. So we got the gun. What else did I need? Uh, flashlight, body cam, walkie-talkie, and key to the motorbike. Do we have to take them in order? Do I get to take the AK? Rifle. It's my biggest mate in operations. Damn. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wish I could take that. Fortunately, I can't. Oh, there's the body cam right there. Nice. What else did I need? A f uh, flashlight? And keys to the motorbike. Doesn't look like there's anything else on the desk, unless if I'm missing some. See one more time. Flashlight? It says buy flashlight, though. Buy a flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. It's in these drawers. Well, those are locked. Nothing. Oh, there's my flashlight. Uh, and those are locked. Okay, where's my walkie-talkie at? Maybe it's... Oh, that's not a door. I just took the door off the hinge. I guess if you live alone, that makes... That makes sense, right? Why have a door if you don't need one, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. This is a little password. Is this password protected? Seems I forgot to activate it. Oh, there's my walkie-talkie. Cool motorbike, dude. I can't get on it because I don't have the key. 
I don't reckon the key is out here with it, is it? Probably not. Maybe the key's back inside. Did I pick everything up in order? I wonder if I, like I said, I have to pick everything up in order. Which, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, yeah, no, those are unlocked. There's the motorcycle key. Thank you! Okay, I think that's everything, right? I guess it'll probably tell us if we try and get on our bike. That'll tell us we can't leave yet. I'm gonna find out. Here we go. Alright. So, I think I'm a cop. Or Kim. No, I think, I think I'm a cop. And I'm going to a house to figure out a murder or something. The bike is loud, bro. Something like that. I don't really know. I, I really wish I wouldn't have read those notes, to be honest. One day ago. <laughs> Not the shutter stock images. <laughs> he just left his house and went through the backyard towards the city. She walked tearfully along the wooded path. <laughs> the husband took his child and looked at his wife with a worried attitude. He decided to follow him and they set off. You know, this is actually a really good video game concept. <laughs> What was this now? You know, you get get on a... Oh, there's a body there. Get on Google Images, and the first five pictures you find make a story out of that shit. Having said that, welcome to Chaperone. Before I start my mission, I need to catch up on sleep. My friend at the computer... I want you to know that our job is very difficult. Is that me? Am I the friend of the computer? Our job is very difficult. That first line was completely con- Oh, nice! Now we got the hyper-realistic body cam shit going on. This is where- This is where we separate the men from the boys right here when you play games like this. There's the Old Spice. Cool. Some hairspray. Pretty sure this is my bathroom. I got all this shit in my bathroom almost exactly like this. Nice, dude. No, this is a murderer's house. This isn't my this I take it back uh, You can use the electrical switches on the side of the walls of the doors But there may be problems with the electrical system due to paranormal activity in the house All right, so the lights now might not work because the the ghosts in this house are a bunch of bitches What did he say? So that one doesn't work shout out to the ghosts. Here's a teddy bear kind of cute All right there's a little trinket. Huh. That's actually my favorite YouTuber right there, Dom Plays. <laughs> oh, cool. There's a Matryoshka doll. And a toy rocket. And I think that's a little Shiba. I used to want a Shiba. I still kind of do. Cactus neon light. Notebook. Probably one of the young people in the house. He drew this picture. Wonder why he might have drawn this. In this house. Probably because there's ghosts in the house. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but that would be my assumption. Probably be that. Let's see if we can find some ghosts. There's a little guitar and a dartboard. Mom mom probably loved it. He had a dartboard. That kid was like three years old based on those drawing skills. A little three-year-old with a dartboard. All right, so this, this door doesn't work. We got a picture of... I don't know. Here's a tree. And a bird. And a soccer ball. Let that soccer ball roll down the stairs. So help me God. Okay. Some nice art going on around this house. This doesn't scream serial killer. That should have been their first sign. Cute. Little angel baby. Alright. Dark hallway. Love to see it. These are lovely paintings, man. What door? What, what noise was that one? Shout out to the ghost. Oh, was that there before? Wait, wait, wait. Did I just see something? Or I think I heard a noise and heard the footsteps and I, my brain imagined something coming out of that door. I don't know. I actually don't know. For sure. There's some letters and stuff here. What you got for me? The lights don't work anymore. Why is it always gotta be shitty weather? And why do we always gotta do this at like 2 a.m.? 90% of our problems will be solved if we did this when the day when it was daytime. Oh, the kitchen. Some Coca-Cola. La Conca. 
La Anka. That's um. <laughs> I hit a shin on the door. <laughs> I say that too when I hit my shin on things. Milk. Anything in the fridge? Relatively normal looking place. Can I open all these? I'll tell you what I'm not going to be doing. That. They, they always make all of these things in the kitchen are always openable. And then there's nothing in them. I will not be doing that. There's a big knife. What were they cutting? Some bread. And some sausages. There's another big knife. Guillotin knife. It's very high quality. Line. You think detectives ever just like steal shit, man? Like, I'm kind of in need of a new knife set. You think you could just like steal that shit, bro? I mean, if nobody's here anymore, right? Like, is it is it really stealing if they're dead? Like, if I didn't kill them, of course, obviously, obviously, but like they're dead anyways. Like, like they don't need a high quality knife if they're dead. You know, just something to think about. That one doesn't open. Okay. Oh, we got it. I think that's Marilyn Monroe. Down there. Alright. Someone there? Someone's going upstairs. And I think they're of the heavier set, too. They were... That or they were... Oh, it's that, it's that little bitch-ass baby doll. I see that thing all the time. I kind of want one of those for myself. I see it so often. Duct tape. I think they were asked to move out of the house after the murder. <laughs> That's a crazy conclusion to come to after picking up some duct tape, man. He probably just wanted to fix the stereo, like maybe a bad cable or something. Not, I, I guess, though. I mean, I guess we could come to that conclusion. No, it was used on the box right there. Oh, that's why they're moving because because we were filling things with boxes and taping them shut. I get it now. I I take back my words. All right. So we've Oh wow, it opens now. Nice. Nice living room. Kind of cozy. This is this a living room? I think so. A little Game Boy. I want one of those and a Nintendo. Oh. That's pretty cool. All right. There's nothing in here, though, except this rabbit. By buying this toy, he woke some people up. You have become, from now on, the responsibility is completely it belongs to you. What did you just say to me? Dead bodies episode. Comfort the spirit of the corpse found in the house. Number one, find the holy book. Number two, leave the holy book on the bedside table of the corpse. Number three, sit on the checkered red chair in the room and say your prayers. What? Am I a cop? Or a, a missionary? Or what? Oh, okay. Alright. We'll do that. That doll's gone. Okay. Was this a horse before? Why would they do that? Why would they change that? That's such a stupid question to ask. There's that. Oh. You see that little guy? The little guy went wiggling across the ground like he was in a middle school PE class. Call those bear crawls. All right. So I got to find... Should I go over here? He went over here. I got to find the holy book. Leave the holy book on the bedside table of the corpse and sit on the checkered red chair and say my prayers. <laughs> okay. 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 The holy book. I don't reckon it's under that loaf of bread. The holy book must be upstairs. There's not really anything going on down here because this door's locked and we already were over there, unless it's one of these. No, but I think the holy book is gonna be like... All right, man. I think the holy book is gonna be pretty obvious. Wait, was I able to go in this room before? I don't think so. Huh. That looks like a good place to put a holy book, but there isn't one there. Oh, how about that? Wheelchair and some crutches. Nice. Usually, it's one or the other. Only one crutch, I think, actually. Well, I didn't see anything in there. Is this the... Is this where the corpse was? In here? You got any holy books in here? Or just toys? The corpse isn't that kid, is it? That'd be kind of sad. 
I mean, not that it's not sad when adults die, too, but, like... I mean, you know what I'm saying. All right. Looking for a holy book. Maybe I can get in this door now. Or maybe I can't. Hmm. Well, this is certainly strange. Uh, quite a lot going on here, and I don't really have any of the answers. We need a holy book. We need a bedside table, and then we need to sit on the red chair. I suppose that's down here, but I think this door was, like, proper locked, wasn't it? Didn't it tell me I needed a key of some sort for this door? I'm pretty sure it did. Let's just look and see, I guess. Find the hall key. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know where any of that stuff's at. Unless if it's downstairs in that room that we were in earlier. Could be that. I guess. Maybe. Son of a bitch. Oh. That's the corpse right there. I'm going to need you to just stay right there for the duration of my, of my stay, okay? I don't want I don't want to see you ever not be right there. This is this a holy book? <laughs> that's, a, that's a Samsung Galaxy S2. The key. There's the hall key. That's good. Hall key receipt. I got a receipt for that. I don't know. I had to pay for the key. How about a holy book? No, that's in the hall for sure, right? So I got to put the, the holy book... <laughs> Don't play with me, man. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. This is my phone now. I mean, not that you need it. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. And the body's still there. It's a Christmas miracle. Little mouse. It's either a little mouse or a really shitty DJ. All right, well, we have the hallway key now. Oh, that's something. Uh, however, we have reached levels of advanced darkness. Shout out to the paranormal activity going on in the house. We were warned about this before it even happened. Oh, yeah, dude. More guns, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fat little doll, bro. <laughs> Chunk, chunk, chunky little, chunky little doll, bro. That's the holy book right there. The holy Bible. These holy books are very important for the souls of the dead to rest in peace. It's good for you and the dead body to have this book with you. Me and the dead body? Cute. Who's that? I don't know. Me and the dead body are about to bond over this Bible. So I go in there and read him. James 1 5 bro he's gonna love that shit okay so I got the holy book and then I just need to sit next to the body and say my prayers Fuck you. <laughs> jeez dude Dude, it's a ghost. Stop talking to it. Just, just, just stop. Put this book down here, man. Doctor bag. Where do I put the book? Oh, this table right here. All right, there goes the book. And then I need to sit in the red checkered chair, right here, praying. There's a progress bar. Say something better, man. It doesn't. It didn't work. I don't think it worked. Say something gooder, better than that gooder. Say something good. Something that's better than what that. that what you just said. Okay, let's get up. Let's get up then. I guess that was um something gooder, bro. <laughs> Pop popping. Nice one, man. Maybe I should pray for a little little higher functioning brain um okay corpse information section find a gun and leave it on the small cabinet next to the piano oh that's a good idea yeah let's give the angry demon a gun bro that's a that's a real good idea man well i know where the gun's at assuming it's a real one and not a prop one i do know where that is 
Son of a bitch. Put that static thing. Oh, nice. That wasn't there before. Oh, you think you're king or some shit, huh? All right. I rock with it. Yeah, this is, this is top 10 best ideas I've ever had. I would say. That's not the gun. I mean, that looks like a gun. This thing's now on, too. All right. Well, where's the where's the proper gun at, then, if it's not that one? Oh, there's two of you. You're not the king. You're just a little... What is it? Little Cheeto-eating, TV-watching iPad, baby. That's what you are. See, turn this way. Maybe now I can pick up this gun? No. I mean, I mean, bro, that's a gun for sure. Maybe, maybe we're thinking more like, like Nerf, Nerf blaster type thing, you know? Something that, that like, we're going to let the, oh, there's another one. We're going to let the demon think that it can kill me, but it can't actually kill me. It's just going to fire a little Nerf bullet at me. Uh, it's going to be fine. Maybe the gun's in here. I don't remember seeing a gun in here. There was a crutch. If you squint hard enough, you might mistake that for a gun. No, nothing in there. All right. Well, it must be not in the bathroom. All right, I'm we're locked out of the bathroom anyways. I wonder if it's in one of these drawers. These things were locked, but maybe they're open now. Damn. Hmm. I don't remember seeing a gun anywhere besides that one on the wall. I thought that would be like the, the highly obvious answer would be that big ass gun on the wall. But it doesn't seem as though that's the case, huh? All right. Well, maybe this door is now openable and there's going to be a gun in here. Or maybe not. I'm pretty sure I've checked everywhere except for when we checked all those places. The last place I could think of would be maybe in the kitchen or maybe down this hallway somewhere. I don't remember seeing a gun down here. I, I, I always make jokes about guns when I see guns, you know? Maybe I can open this one. No. Hmm. Maybe it's packed under that duct tape. I don't know, man. I don't think there was a gun in here. We got some game, a Game Boy. Oh. Oh. Seems good. Seems progress. Or maybe not. Oh. Perhaps that door over here just opened now. It sounded like a door just opened, yeah? No, it didn't. Unless it was the one upstairs. Where are y'all hiding the gun at, man? I mean, there's there's one gun. I, why is it not that one? All right, let's check the kitchen. Yeah, there's a weapon in here. There's a knife. It's not a gun, but it's like the next best thing, I guess. Let's see. It's probably hidden in one of these stupid ass cupboards. Come on. Papa needs a gun now. Come on now. Not looking like it. I told you every time every time we got drawers and cabinets and shit like this, they're always the biggest waste of your time. And I'm gonna prove that to you right now. See? See what I'm saying? No guns. Teapot. Maybe the ghost wants a little tea date. We could go on a little tea date. Might be the last chance you have before I banish you to hell. All right, bro. So I can't, I can't find your gun, man. And, and I mean, honestly, I don't think it's really that good of an idea, anyways, to give you a gun. Did this door open? Oh, it did. It's so annoying. All right. Gun. It's gonna be in one of these drawers, no doubt. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Stop doing that shit to me. Who's this? Oh, that's my grandpa, I think. My dad, Alex. Oh, there it is. A weapon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm the right guy to be messing with now, bro. I got a, I got a gun. Bang on that shit all you want. Loud noises. I'm feeling slightly less tough now. Little goats. Okay. Well, I got the gun. So we can go put that on the cabinet. And then I'm, I'm sure this thing's going to be happy about that. Where did it say to put it? On the small cabinet next to the piano. Probably specific. All right, the small cabinet right next to this. No, not next to this one. Must be this one, right? Stuck on that. Here we go. All right, I did it. Find the paper with the death certificate and leave it on the large table next to the body.
Oh, you're gonna stay like that. Oh, no, no, no. Just a little ab workout, bro. Yeah, I feel you. you. Gotta look good even in the afterlife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, a death certificate. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check all my bases here. You know how it goes. Oh, we're just gonna have to walk around and then it's gonna magically pop out to us. One of these doors is gonna open or something. So listen for the sound cue. Um, did I try to open this already? Yeah, I did. Okay, so it's not back here. This will be the last place we'll check after we've ran through the rest of the house. And that's probably where it's gonna be at is inside of that, that room. The bathroom is still closed. I don't think I collected anything from here, which, again, I feel like, dude, something's gonna be right there at some point. It just seems like too obvious of a place to not put something there. You know? Okay. Check around here. Maybe it's... Maybe it's in this coloring book. Or maybe this is going to be open now. Ha! Genius. There's the death report. All right. Let's go slap this bad boy down next to the body and see what best... <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, it says leave it on the large table next to the body. The body's not here anymore. Guess we'll put it here and pretend like it was. <laughs> He's still not back. And he made a mess. Okay, corpse information section. Bring the body back to where it lies. In order to do that, I'm going to need you to feel the same way as you do. Try not to meet him as much as possible. If he sees you, his curse will continue, but if he feels you behind him, the spell will disappear. Follow the sounds, keep examining things. Don't be afraid of the paranormal. Otherwise, all curses are with you. What are you talking about? Try not to meet him as much as possible? What, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm supposed to bring him back? And in order to do that, I need to feel the same way as you do. What? Okay. All right. So I think. Oh shit. I think translating that to modern English means that we need to walk around and listen for sounds and other strange things like this to happen. And then Hopefully that motherfucker is just gonna end up back on the table at some point in time. That's that's the, all that I can think of. That's all that I can hope ever hope for. Let's see if my theory's correct. So we're gonna walk down this way, looking for the corpse. If we see that thing, dude, I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm so serious. I know it's been all fun and games and jokes until now, but now th things kind of got real now, dude. I, I'm not I'm not really out here trying to make jokes anymore. Not yet, anyways. All right. So that leaves a couple places he could be at. Number one, in here. Maybe he's shaking ass on this table under the spotlight. Unfortunately, I was incorrect. Okay. Number two, perhaps he's in here playing with the Matryoshka doll. Also incorrect. Okay. Was that shirt there before? I don't know. Number three, he could be in here. Real dark in here. How about some light? They forgot to install the light switch in this room. That's okay. Um, yeah, not. Those are just pillows. Those are just pillows. Not a body. Okay. So he's not in here. There's a light bulb. Why keep a blown bulb? Maybe there was sentimental value in it, you know? Okay. So that means the last place that he could and should be would be down this hallway with all these fat little dolls featuring the king of the fat little dolls. All right. Got some spooky noises going on. Can't hear him anymore because of the television static, but that's something. Huh. You got any idea, little dude? <laughs> okay, 
okay? Right. Let's, uh... Walk back down. I heard some noises, which I think probably means something happened. Nothing? Nothing? Alright, something had to have happened, right? Maybe now? No. Still not. Okay. Bathroom's still closed. He's not in here. There's actually that teddy bear. Still nothing in here, either. I bet that door downstairs is gonna be open now. That's that's all I can think of. Or maybe he just went back to his table and he's behaving. Maybe he, it's just wrong, it's just wrong. Every time I have an idea, it's just wrong, every time. Nothing in there. Huh, well this is certainly strange. Is that door open? Oh, you son of a bitch it is. All right, bro. Oh, not the basement. <laughs> it was just a skull. Shit. No, 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 no. Why is there a skull? Halloween prop. What's that? What's that? What is that? It's just floating. What the hell is that? Dude, it's so dark down here. Is that bloody? No. Mm. All right, well, can we turn this thing on? Please, 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 please. Ah. I went, he went over this way, but this is all blocked off. Mwah. Well, I wonder, hmm. I cannot see a thing down here, man. Oh, there just went something. I think he maybe went up back upstairs. I'm feeling as I do. So he should be back at the thing, right? It said I I need you to feel the same way as you do. And I and I feel like in this moment I feel as I do. So oh, was that there before? I don't think it was. Is that anything? Mission. The corpse relaxes. There will be a lighter in one of the rooms. Take that lighter. And you'll find a lighter. <laughs> Burn away the unknown and go to the dead. You'll have to hurry. When they get home, you need to be in place and report the cause of death. Report the cause of death? <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I guess. Let's do that. Um... What then? What do you want? I see the skull. I've already seen it. What do you want from me? I mean, thanks for the light, I guess. That's some hospitality is being shown around here finally. But I don't know what you want from me, though. The door is open. All right, so he should be back in place now, right? And I and I need to find a lighter. What am I doing? What am I doing with the burn away the unknown and go to the dead? That. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> alright, alright bro I don't want to be here just as bad as you don't want to be here Okay Let's just understand that <laughs> Okay Alright Cause of death was not Lack of stamina Bro was a track star for sure Okay, so I need a lighter and then, I'll, why is it still not there? I need a lighter, because then when I find the lighter, I'll have a lighter. And and that's pretty valuable these days, to have a lighter. So, let's just go ahead and do that, I guess. Find a lighter so we can have a lighter. Doesn't appear to be in here. Maybe they put it in the refrigerator. No, you know where? It's going to be under that light. That's where it's going to be, is under that light. I feel it. I feel it. It's gonna be under the light. Right? Right. You know the light I'm talking about? This one. Come on, baby. Come on, let me be... 
Something has to be under that light at some point in time. All right. Find a lighter and you'll have a... Oh, you know what? Actually, it's going to be in one of these drawers that we couldn't open. We already did these ones. Not in there. Um, that one's still locked. Oh, now I can't mess with those either. Ha! Ah, lighter. Okay, so that thing went to the side. So now I have a lighter and I need to burn away the unknown. What does this mean for us? Burn away the unknown. I don't know... I don't know what that means, man. I, I burn away... The book? Do I burn the book? Take... Take the... <laughs> burn away the unknown and go to the dead. What is the unknown, dog? How about this frame of this little dude? No, that's messed up. That's probably sentimental. How about the Samsung Galaxy S2? Dude... How about the this the big big violin? What? What is the unknown? It's all of this shit is unknown to me. I don't, I don't know what the unknown is. A stack of papers. I wonder if there's gonna be something new somewhere that it's gonna be obvious that it's the unknown. Oh, or maybe it's those stupid ass baby dolls. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna check over here since we're here, but I I don't think it's gonna be anything down here, unless if it's that. That's pretty unknown. It's not that. Okay. Maybe the skull. You can't burn a skull, you dipshit. Maybe it's got to be those baby dolls. That's all I could think of. It has to be the baby dolls. It has to be. I don't know. We're going to find something that's going to be obvious. It's usually pretty obvious. You know. Um, okay. So we're going to go upstairs and down the hallway. And I'm going to go burn those baby dolls. Whether they like it or not. Body's still not there. For the sports fans at home. Are you the unknown? I... Am I supposed to burn you? Oh. Yeah, no, I've heard that don't feel very good, man. Ah. I'm sorry. Name of the deceased, Martin. Age 39, instrument of killing, pistol, killer wife. Cause of death, Martin is, cause, is caught cheating on his wife with another woman. As his wife leaves the house, Martin follows her. Despite all his pleading, he can't convince his wife, and in a moment of anger, he kills him where he stands and curses his soul. Send. Where's my mouse at? I can't send if I can't see my mouse. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty sad. Is that the end of the game? That's kind of, that was kind of suspicious. I'm not gonna lie. Um, they said this other developer's games were really good, and that was uh, that was um, that was a game for sure. It, it, it was, uh, I mean, it was, it was a game. It was a psychological horror game. I don't, I don't know what just happened. I have no idea. Maybe you guys have a better understanding and you can let me know in the comments what we just did. I guess file the police report. I guess that's all you need to know. I guess, I guess that's all you need to know. Um, anyways, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Chaperone. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow with another one. Goodbye. <laughs>